You see this beautiful painting here? Look very closely at it. And you see that it's individual pieces of cloth. And here is the master artist who did that. <laughs> My goodness, tell us about it. Well, thank you for that introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so this is my quilt, Brewing Friendship, and um, as you said, it's made up completely of applique fabric pieces that I then sewed together on my uh, Bernina sewing machine using a raw edge applique um, stitching technique, which basically means I used a free motion quilting foot to stitch around the outside edge of every piece of fabric. So it took me a total of 180 hours to do. I'm a freelance graphic designer as my day job, so I'm used to recording my hours for uh, clients. So I just, that's just something I'm in the habit of doing anyway. Um, and my process actually starts out as a drawing on my iPad. So I, do, I drew the entire thing um, from about 16 to 18 different photographs. I kind of picked and choose pieces from each photograph that, that I thought worked. So for example, this horse's head actually came off the horse body that's this secondary horse. And so I just mixed and matched as needed to make the composition that I want. And I drew all of it freehand on my iPad. And did you cut each piece individually with scissors or whatever? No, I actually use a device called a Cricut. So for, for 14 years of, uh, the past 14 years, um, I did cut everything by hand, but last year, um, I discovered that there's this device called a Cricut, which, and that's C-R-I-C-U-T, and it kind of functions like a home printer, except it uses an X-Acto blade instead of an inkjet. So I, I give it the designs to cut, and it uses its X-Acto blade to cut for me. Wow. So this particular quilt has, if I recall correctly, about 1,300 pieces of fabric, and it took me and my Cricut 12 and a half hours to cut every single one out. Wow. If I was cutting by hand, I would have, it would have taken me all week. Still be cutting. Cutting. I would still be cutting, yeah, exactly. I'm so impressed. I think most people walk by and think, what a beautiful painting. Yeah, it's, 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 no it's, one realizes it. That. Yeah, it's not a painting. You're the only one in the world that uses this technique? As far as I know, yes. Mm. I, I think you're fabulous. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the story behind it? So this, there's actually two different stories in this quilt. The first story, and the one that's most prominent, is the horse is meeting his new friend, the farm dog. But the entire reason that that interaction is happening is because there was a problem with one of with the harness of one of the horses at the rear of the wagon, and the drivers of the beer wagon had to stop to check the harness. So but even though the secondary story about the men is in the background and it's downplayed, it really enabled the primary story. And so I like tying that together in this one. When there are the men, I noticed the faces are very detailed. How did you achieve that? Uh, my cricket cut it out. That is amazing. I'm just blown away <laughs> by it. Really? Well, thank you. I, I, why why didn't that win first prize? <laughs> I don't know. This is the lady's name right here. My name's Kestra Michelle. And you have a website? Yep, my website is just kestrelmichelle.com. Are you impressed as I am? I am. I'm your mother. Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, aren't you sweet? Aren't you proud but of her? I'm very proud of her, yes. Oh, wow. I just, that just went right past it. I thought, well, it's a nice painting and really nice, but wow. It's a fun story. It is so nice. And, and she's gorgeous no, to boot. There's no paint 